What's the trap area? Hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. The greenhouse? Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. Had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. Wanted this place to be hard to find. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, got a shack for storage right here. Right along the river. It's secure, mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vi and Brody should be heading out there in a bit. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years and food's become more scarce. So why not go outside it? <laughs> we can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I, I can't let another kid die. I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah? Well, multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> what? Ha. Huh. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come off like a dick. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well... Sim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. We're gonna go fishing. Okay. Take this. Don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. You know, I've been thinking. I wish we could all go on a road trip together. Road trip? Why bother? It's not like there's anything worth seeing anymore. Oh, come on. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to see. Maybe Clem could show us around. You're able to get a car working, and you know how to drive? Barely. Come on, Vi. Are you sure you trust my driving? I promise I don't usually crash. 
Oh, right. On second thought. Yeah, I think Clem just totaled the last working car in the world. So much for your road trip. Are we going to the car? No, bud. It's broken. Good. I'm sick of the car. I wish this old rust bucket was still working. We could just jump in and start driving. We could take turns sitting in the back. It'd be like driving one of those cars with the top that goes down. We'd run out of gas eventually. But still, it's fun to imagine, isn't it? <laughs> Where would you go, Clem? If you could drive anywhere you wanted, if gas wasn't an issue. Or a busted carburetor or flat tires or the transmission. I'd drive down to the coastline, maybe park on the beach and go swimming. That'd be an absolute dream. You could spend every day in the sun. And die of skin cancer. Fun. We're all gonna die. I'll take skin cancer over turn it into a walker any day. I've lived here my entire life. Heck, I'd say I know every inch of these woods. I'd kind of like to unknow it. No use dreaming of what could be. We've got shit to do. Yeah, I guess we should get to work on those fish. We got spears inside the shack. Come on. You go ahead. I'll stay out here. Where are those spears? Hey, about Bai. I'm sorry she's being a little mean. It's my fault. What do you mean? I was there when those walkers killed Sophie and Minnie. They were really close with Bai, and I think she blames me for what happened to them. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? I don't know. Maybe I deserve it. You should talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll listen. <laughs> yeah, right. I tried. I have. It just never seems like the right time. We all used to be friends. <sighs> Guess I just kind of missed that. But when you showed up, I, I don't know. I just haven't seen her warm up to someone in a long time. Hmm. Do you? I mean, I hate to ask this of you, but do you think you could talk to her? See how she feels? About me? It's just been eating me up inside. I can try, but I can't make any promises that it'll help. Thanks, Clementine. I'm gonna go check our fish traps downstream. What the hell is taking you two so long? See? I'll take this to Vi. There should be some extras lying around. Just some old gardening supplies. Hey you, what you looking at? V plus M. Violet and Minerva. What does that mean? Uh, it means they were really good friends. Like me and you are really good friends? Not exactly. Ready to get some fish? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Ha! Shit. Can I join you? Sure. Hey, check out these guys over here. They're swimming against the current. Guess I don't realize it makes them easier targets. I wanna try. Take a spear. Go nuts. Go ahead and try. 
They're not running. Any luck? I got something. Good enough for me. Hey, I'm sorry if I was weird last night about the whole room thing. Seeing someone else in there, uh, it was harder than I expected. You'd think I'd be less sentimental by now. I understand. There are people I still miss too. It never really gets easier. Yeah. It really doesn't. Okay. God. Sometimes she just gets on my last nerve. You know? Yeah, I can tell. I mean, it's it's not like I hate her. I just... <clears throat> I wish we could all go on a road trip together. God, she's so... Oh. She definitely thinks you hate her. Looks like they wisened up. Maybe Brody had better luck with the traps. I got one! Clem, I got one! <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is between us. With Brody. I don't know why it's like this. Why is it so weird? I can never relax around her. It just keeps getting worse. Because you blame her for what happened with the twins. Well, that's what I used to think. I just keep thinking that things might have ended differently if I was there. Maybe I could have protected Soph. And Minnie. She wants to talk about it, you know. I just... I feel guilty about the whole thing. Why? I was supposed to be out with the twins that day. I wanted to work in the greenhouse, so I asked Brody to cover for me. But then... I didn't even get to say goodbye. I... I wanted to talk to Brody, to tell her I didn't blame her for what happened, but every time I tried, I was reminded of who we lost. It was easier to just not talk about it. We should get going. You guys catch any fish? We caught some, but not a lot. I didn't get anything. We should catch up with Lewis and Asim, see if they had any better luck. The Grand Canyon. What? That's where I'd go. If we took a road trip, start driving until we hit the Grand Canyon. Yeah, that would be cool. Thanks. Hey, you slowpokes coming? Yeah, we're right behind you. Where are those guys? Practicing making out with a toothless walker. Gross. I know. Poor walker. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What? This isn't normal? Someone sabotaged this. This isn't good. A Sam? Lewis! Spread out. See if we can find them. Watch out for monsters. Hmm. Empty. Oh, 
Huh. Is this a Bible page? Clem, found something. Monster. Guys, over here! Well, we didn't kill this one. We wouldn't have left it hanging in our trap. What the hell? Found this too. Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. Who is this unlucky fella? Where have you been? Checking nearby traps. The ones that were sprung were all empty. All the rest are broken. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. It's just a panic attack. Take a second. Breathe in deep. And hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. I'll take this hall back to school. And maybe we can ration out something. So what do we do? Eat rocks? You can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlon kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? Let me think. The train station. It's not too far from here. Maybe, but it's outside the safe zone. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. Or we could starve. Fine. Let's go. There. That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. We barely got out of here. It was close. It sounds scary. There's a reason. I could climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. I need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. That bell might be able to get the walker's attention. They do like to follow sound. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it... Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. Okay, Prince Charming, let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine, I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! Fine, make it confusing right over here. Got your nose. Got your nose. Time to 
sucking like you. You have no nose. There's a rotten hole in your face. Alright, someone get this a second. We may not have a second. I'll watch the door for walkers. Okay, AJ and I will sneak in, grab the food, and get out. Sounds good. Let's make it quick. will be perfect. Plim, look. Try it out. See if it works. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. <laughs> 